yo what's going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and i hope you guys are ready for this one man sneak peek number four for the february update it's been two weeks of waiting dead silence in marvel future fight waiting for the lovely rogue to get her tier three i've been hinting at it for a couple days now letting you guys know that hey man more than likely baby girl is going to be the one to get in tier three it's been like a year since we've gotten a speed tier three gambit got an awakening gambit and Rogue go hand in hand they're lovers so it just makes sense that if he's getting a power up she's getting one too and she's a major part of this dawn of x comic run so that's what's going on and i know right away some of you guys are gonna be like oh my gosh i'm upset where's where's betsy where is betsy where's the captain britain uniform for psylocke where's the tier three for psylocke i get it man i get it believe me i get it i love betsy more than most of you guys but come on guys let's be real how many blast tier threes do we have how many awakened blast characters do we have we just got cable tier three guys did you guys really want another blast character they get a power up over a speed character look carefully at the speed category pick out a top 10 there's not that many not that many powerhouses for null or pvp or anything so we do need some type of balance in this unbalanced game right so it is nice that rogue is getting something it fits thematically right and she deserves it more than deserves it it's unfortunate that it came at the price of betsy getting shafted but there will be another opportunity most definitely because one thing for sure two things for certain net marble marvel future fight they love money and psylocke is a deluxe package character just like moonstone just like magneto just like invisible woman so what does that mean when they get stronger more people want to buy those packages if they didn't have them before so those characters will need to be powerful at some point for those packages to keep holding value right you can only sell moonstone to so many players <laughs> so yeah anyways moving on speaking of moonstone we just got a power up in moonstone for the blast category we didn't need another blast character man we needed a speed one anyways let's talk about the uh sneak peek here because your boy is excited man might even make some videos smash the like button if you want to see some videos man it's been a minute <laughs> we've just been streaming lately the excitement haven't really been there man but if you guys want videos we'll be back with it so greetings agents this is cm fragment of marvel future fight rogue has awoken from her slumber and is ready to defend krakoa her home she has joined the other members of Excalibur and wields the power of the most, amen, the most powerful mutants. Rogue will stand with her agents to protect Kokoa, the land of the mutants and beyond. The new power of Rogue, I will play the trailer right about now, so give me a sec, boys. I wish they gave us a little bit more not gonna lie i wish they gave us a little bit more um i do believe though that this her touching the rose garden thing right is going to be a part of her tier three like animation and this whole her thing where she's in the flower field is straight out of the comic so salute to net marble and the future fight team for that That, that right here is a cool shot. This is a really cool shot. I love the fact that they, um, they have her morphing when she's using Apocalypse's power. That is really, really cool. Anyways, let's see what else they have for us. So it says the details will be stated in the next patch so stay tuned so presumably a couple hours after i post this there's going to be a patch note breakdown letting us know everything we're getting on tuesday we'll see it might be coming today 
more than likely it's coming on Tuesday. We'll see. Let's see how people are feeling. Apocalypse need new uniform. I don't know if Apocalypse need a new uniform, but he could have gotten one from this run. So they could do a part two. Here's the thing for everybody getting upset. They could do a part two where Apocalypse gets a uniform, right? And we get a uniform for Betsy and she gets her tier three. And then we get her brother, Captain Britain. So like it could happen. There is enough substance in this comic run for us to get a part two. It's just a matter of whether or not they think it's profitable to do so. Rise of the X-Men is the first to get all tier threes. Weak, why introduce characters in another epic quest if they're going to get blacklisted and passed over? Psylocke, Strife, Doctor Doom, etc. Gladiator, I'm glad for Rogue fans, but Netmar was just put Okay, okay. Bro, not every character, here's the thing. I don't understand what he um what he's complaining about. Is he complaining that old characters like Rogue and Gambit that's been in the game for years are getting a power up? That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't the old characters that's been in the game for years that people invested money and time into building be getting power up over characters that are just coming in? Like it doesn't make sense. If they bring in new characters and give them all the power and then leave these old characters and don't give them a power up. It doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> anyways. Um, but then again, this whole forum doesn't make sense, right? I won't go too deep into the the, the abyss that is the Marvel Future Fight <laughs> forums here. So let's go on Twitter. Twitter is the Marvel Future Fight Twitter page is usually not that bad, but Twitter itself is a very uh, dangerous place. You can see anything at any given moment, so I'm gonna tread lightly, All right? So why no Wanda Vision update? Maybe they're waiting until the end of the season to do it. Maybe they are just too cheap to pay for the rights to use the material from these series. Who knows? Maybe they don't think it's gonna be that profitable, but I don't think that's the case because it's Scarlet Witch and they know people will buy a Scarlet Witch uniform. So I don't know. We'll see. Imagine if they did at the beginning of the season and drop the new mutant version of okay uh i don't want to read too much of that because it seems like he might be giving some spoilers but i i do see tier 3 mephisto that would be nice all right that would be nice excalibur with no psylocke or captain britain um again it could be a part two we'll see psylocke always robbed <laughs> or robbed always uh, i don't know about all that rogue deserves it more yeah Here's the thing. Here's the thing that some of you guys don't understand, right? I can be fair and just. I love, ooh, I love, um, I love Psylocke. But here's the thing. Psylocke is already pretty good, right? Just because she's not top, top, top tier doesn't mean much, right? She's still pretty good. Rogue is also pretty good. But we have, like, what? 15 really powerful Blast characters and, like, five decent speed ones? Why would we need another speed? I guess it doesn't even matter about need at this point, right? Because for World Boss Legend, no, you only need five characters. So it um, doesn't matter after that point. It's just all for funsies, I guess, right? So anyways, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. How are you feeling? Baby girl is getting her tier three. Me personally, I'm going to be tier three in Rogue day one. Day one. I'm not waiting. You feel me? I'm on a different wavelength right now, bro. It's just like how I transcended Gambit day one and tier three came with zero. I'm, I'm day one, bro. Luckily for me, I invested a lot of resources back in the day in my baby girl. So uh, I don't need to do much, but just click a button when it comes out and just tier through her using um the CCF and stuff. So beautiful, beautiful girls all over the world. <laughs> I could be chasing, but my time would be wasted. They got nothing on you. Hey, my baby. They got nothing on you, Rogue. Ah, oh, you looking stellar. Hopefully your damage is up there too. I'm gone, man. Y'all be safe. Peace. Hey, don't judge my singing too harshly, eh? <laughs> hey, man, I'm gone.